CataractCoach.com, how to free that sticky haptic when it becomes stuck to the optic or even the other haptic. And also, today is 2,500. That is right, Cataract Coach fans. For 2,500 days in a row, we brought you great content here on CataractCoach.com, and we're still going. Every day, a new video, and we're all so happy to be learning together. And I got to tell you a few things that are important here. First, remember, there are other resources besides just the YouTube or Instagram video. Remember, every day, we also have a post on cataractcoach.com. It's also the best search engine. Don't email me, ask me a question that you could answer yourself by going to the cataractcoach.com website. Remember what I say at the beginning of every video? What do I say? Cataractcoach.com, right? That's the key. Great search engine there, very organized. There's a curriculum series there. If you're a young doctor and want to learn surgery, there's a free Cataract Coach PDF book there. Got to tell you, we're well over a million views a month, like 40,000 views a day across all platforms, and we're still growing. Speaking of growing, we have PapowRetinaRounds.com, our new Retina channel. It's already launched. It's live. It's good to go. That's with Dr. Pradeep Prasad, a fantastic retina specialist, and you're going to learn a lot. So please sign up for his channel for the daily email, CataractCoach.com or RetinaRounds.com, and then also his YouTube channel and my YouTube channel, and we're all going to keep learning together. Anyway, let's get to the video for today. I think you're really going to love it. Good stuff coming. Now, this is a throwback video from 2018. Look at this. I will going in the eye, nice and easy, just as usual, totally routine case, and we'll get this delivered put it in the bag, rotate around, and those haptics should get freed up pretty easily. Remember, this acrylic material, hydrophobic acrylic, is a little bit sticky or tacky, and with not enough viscoelastic, you can see that one haptic is kind of stuck to the optic here. We can use our chopper going back and forth to help kind of free it up, and this is what happens most of the time. It's pretty straightforward. We're almost done, and there it is. Finally, it's released. That's it, and now it goes in the capsule bag, so we're all done. So that's how we usually deal with it when they have a sticky haptic on top of the optic. But sometimes it can be even more challenging. So let's show you a case I did just this week here in Los Angeles, in Beverly Hills. Now, again, routine case, here comes the lens. Smaller incision, so a little bit of a wound assist. Get the eye back in primary, right? Don't put the lens in when the eye's shoved into the nasal canthus. There it goes in the capsule bag. And now deliver it, get it in the position. And that one happening, look, it doesn't want to come off. I'm trying. We try with the chopper, the usual methods. We try some shearing forces, but it's just really adherent there. And so how else can you remove this stuck haptic from the optic? Well, I got a little trick for you. Check this out. What we're going to do, instead of using this chopper, because you can see it's kind of futile, I'll get a, a capsule rexus forceps and just pinch the haptic end. That'll distort it enough. When you pinch it, it releases. That's a neat little trick. Please put that in your library and use that one day in the future. Now, I also wanted to address another thing. I saw a video recently. Someone called this misloaded haptic, which you'll see here, the Superman arm, because it comes out like Superman. Listen, what's the 7L rule? The leading haptic should look like a number seven. That's not number seven. So what am I going to do? No, no, don't put it in the bag. Put it on top of the iris. Leading haptic must look like the number seven. Trailing haptic like the capital letter L, 7L rule. You learn it on cataract, coach. Come on. So now, look, I can reposition it to get that seven orientation, and now I can deliver in the bag. So I know other people have advocated to just throw the whole lens away, just abort an insertion. You don't have to do that. Here, you can remove this sticky haptic from the optic, and beautiful. Now it's in perfect position now. A reader sent us in this video. Watch this video. Here we got a special lens with four haptics going inside the eye. Deliver, deliver, deliver. Looks pretty good. Get that going in. And look at the end here. One of the four haptics gets stuck in the injector. And if you yank too hard, you're going to break it. So what do you do? Well, this surgeon had an idea. And the idea is let's just use scissors and cut off the tip of the disposable injector right about there. It won't damage the haptic. In fact, it'll release the haptic. There it is. It's been cut. And now you can push it back inside the eye. And once it's inside the eye, you're done with the case. But recently, there was another case. We tried the same maneuver, cutting it in, tried freed free up that one haptic, and cut, cut, cut with the scissors. And did it free it? Mm, let's see. Get that cut going across. And don't use your good scissors for that, by the way. Use your cheap drape scissors. No, it didn't work. So now what are you going to do? You're going to use cautery and just melt that plastic open without damaging the haptic, obviously. And when you open up that cartridge, you can actually free up the haptic. So I love the innovative thinking. This is not a lens we use here in the USA, so I don't have any experience with it. But if you're getting that many misloads, I'd probably switch lenses. 
But you can see here at the end, once he's opened up that cartridge, it'll free up that haptic. There it is, and not damaged at all. It looks beautiful. Now put it back inside the app. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for supporting us for 2,500 posts in a row. Such a great library. The world's largest cataract surgery and anterior segment library. Remember, cataract coaches, cataract glaucoma, cornea, and refractum. And, of course, retina rounds is everything post to your segment. Sign up for both of them and learn together.